Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Carol Day Dunlop, your online wild strategist and Amazon number one international best-selling author. How are you doing this Friday morning? It's the day before the royal wedding. Are you going? <laughs> are you going to watch? I am actually thinking about getting up and watching that thing. I watched Princess Die. I watched um, other one, Prince William. So if I don't watch Harry, it would be really bad. Like they would know, right? <laughs> So I'm glad you're here. Glad you're tuning in. If you are live or if you're tuning in to the on-demand um, replay, that's fine, too. Glad you're a part of the group. And welcome to all the new members of the group. I know I was reading through your uh, the questions that you answered. Now, some of the people who are in here originally, you didn't have to answer any questions because I didn't do them yet. But the people who have come on recently in the last couple of months have answered questions, just three of them. And I thank you for doing that, number one. And then number two, I'm really grateful that you're doing that. I'm grateful that I put the questions up because now I can get to know you a little bit better rather than just seeing your picture and your um, profile and kind of know what you're about because it, it shows me that. That's really cool. So one thing I wanted to say, this is my first time doing a uh, live in the group since Facebook put out, Facebook and BeLive put up the new standard. So if you comment, or say something, I cannot see who you are, I cannot see your name, your profile, or anything, but I can see your comment. And uh, you please do comment, because we've got some great stuff going on, and I'm not going to be on here long, so let's get to it. So we're talking about today how to use OPA to get clients. What is OPA? I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain how to use it. I'm going to tell you, let's see, I have four four points, five, six, no, about six or seven points that can help you get started with it pretty easily so you can start getting clients. So I came up with this concept when I was uh, writing my book on Market Your Business, 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs to Stand Out, Stop Struggling, and Start Profiting because it's one of the one of the things that I use to get clients, not just off of Facebook, but on any group that you're a member of that's closed or public, preferably I like the closed ones. I don't really join the, the public groups because the things I post, I, I really want to make sure that, you know, it's a it's a closed up group. And, you know, I don't really like the open ones. I know just about all the ones on LinkedIn are open. So mm, that's, you know, that's a whole other story. But anyway, you can use this to get clients in groups, open, closed, whatever platform, it does not matter. And I've used it several times to get several different clients, clients who have been with me, not just for one time or two times. They've been with me for several years now, and they use my services over and over and over. So I want to share that with you so that you can do it also. So first, let's get started. What is OPA? OPA stands for Other People's Audience. And it means that there, someone out there, someone you admire, an influence, or someone you follow has created a group or a community, and you're now a member of it, or you're going to join it. And you're going to use that group to get your clients. It sounds kind of nefarious, doesn't it? But it's really fun. It really... I guess the the hardest part, it doesn't cost you anything. The hardest part of it is just doing the, the postings, like I'm saying, and being on the lookout for where you can help people. So this is going to help you. And so let's get on with it. Hold on a second, all these uh, notifications are popping up. I don't want to see these notifications. Hey, if you're just joining in, thank you. Please comment. Let me know who you are. Put your name in the comment so I can say hello. Otherwise, I just see a, a blank viewer. <laughs> All right, so the second point is how do I use OPA or other people's audience? So I use it to be helpful. I use <laughs> some Facebook thing coming up. I use it to be helpful to others. So my thing is to share my knowledge and experience and what I know and be helpful in the group because that's what it's all about. It's all about being helpful. I'm going to go over the points in just a little bit how you do it, but it's all about being helpful. It's not about selling. It's not about um, bombarding people over the head with your business, what you do, and all that. It's just about really being a good neighbor, being helpful to the people, helping them get 
to the end result that they want. And hopefully their very end result is to work with you. But you start out, you don't start off like that. You start off just being helpful. Hey there, how you doing? Put your name in the uh, comment, please, so I can see who you are and greet you properly. Okay, so how do you get started with OPA? So I've got one, two, three, five, six things that are going to help you do this. You know what? I did not. Um, hold on a second. I got to change to my other. I just forgot. I know why I'm freezing up now because hopefully I can do this. I'm not on my faster speed. So give me a second here. Sorry about that. And let me change this out. See if I can do this now. Because this thing keeps freezing up and I forgot to change it. So give me. Okay, I hope that this uh, <laughs> started over the right way. I had to change from my slow, slow, slow connection to my fast, fast, fast connection. So hopefully it's okay. I did have one person on. I'm sorry that I lost you. So, mm. but otherwise it was just gonna be freezing up. You weren't gonna be able to hear it. So let's get let's get rolling with this. Um, how to how to actually use the OPA or other people's audience. Number one, I want you to find five groups. We're just going to say you're in Facebook right now. So I want you to find five groups that match your keywords, where your ideal, perfect prospects and clients will hang out. So whatever your keywords are, if you are a, um, let's say you are a personal chef and your clients are single moms, yeah, single mom. So you look for a group that has single moms in it. If you are a um, a coach who helps people with productivity, so your thing would be, um, let's see, saving time. So those could be an example of some keywords. So I want you to put that in the top part of, you can do it in Facebook or you can do it in Google, wherever there are groups, online groups, communities, and see what comes up where you can find the groups. Then I want you to pick five and I want you to join them. So you can join them, you can unjoin them, you can leave them anytime you want. So I want you to pick five and join them. And I want you not to do really, I want you to do these three things. First of all, I want you to look for the group guidelines and see what the group is all about. Let's see who they target. It, it will be all in the guidelines that they have written out, the group description. See who they target, what they're about. Um, you know, if they have specific posting days and all that. But the main thing you're looking for is the DHH, the designated help hashtag. So it'll be maybe hashtag help or hashtag. I know Renelli Williams has a group and her is called the legacy. I forgot it's a legacy something. So she has legacy help as her hashtag. So if you just see if they have a designated help hashtag, usually, like I said, it's hashtag help or it's just help. Or they say if you need help, just put help. They usually do the hashtag so it's easier for them to look through the group and see who needs the help. And it'll be easier for you when you put the hashtag help in the uh, search bar so you can find out who needs your help. And then the other thing I want you to do is just to lurk. For five to 10 days, I don't want you to post anything. I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to lurk in the group and see who's doing what. 
see who's doing the most posts, who's commenting the most, who's posting the most, what are they posting about, who are the influencers and the people in the group who are making the most noise. And then I want you to click on their profile and find out more about them, like what's their website, who who do they cater to, what kind of services they offer, things like that. Because you may want to hook up with them. Uh, you may want to do some kind of collaboration and you want to know who's in the group. So then for the next 20 days, 20 days, every day for 20 days, I want you to log into all five of your groups and I want you to do these four things. So number one, I want you to leave a helpful tip in each of the five groups. Now you can leave the same tip or you can come up with five, dif five different tips Maybe you come up with like 20 different tips and put them, you know, alternate them in each group. But I want you to leave a helpful tip in each group for 20 days. The second thing is I want you to comment on someone else's post. Make it a helpful comment. If they're asking a question or if you just want to say, hey, how you doing? Whatever, just comment. You want to make your presence known and let people know that you're there. The third thing you want to do is you want to ask a question. So your question needs to be something that the group can identify with and that you know the answer to. So when if people ask you a question about the question, then you can answer it with your knowledge and experience. And then the fourth thing that I want you to do is I want you to answer a question. Now, remember I said comment on someone else's post. If it's a question, you could say that hey, I just killed two birds and one stone. No, I really want you to do four different things. So find another person to answer the question for. So number one, the first thing I want you to do is leave a helpful tip in each of the groups every day for 20 days. The second thing is I want you to comment on another person's post, just one. Now this is gonna take you all of about 15 minutes in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon, whenever you decide to do it, set aside your time so that you can go in and do what you need to do and you can get out. So just because what you're doing is you're making yourself known in the group, you're making your presence felt, and you're showing people your expertise and your knowledge. Then I want you to, number three, is ask a question, and the question needs to be related to something the group is going to, you know, something the group is going to know about or has questions about or Maybe they can help with or you can help them, but it needs to be kind of a strategic question because you want to make sure that you know the answer to it. You can answer it. And if someone else asks you a question about the question, that you have the answer. And then I want you to answer someone else's question. Now, like I said, the reason you're doing this is because you're making yourself available. You're letting your, letting your presence be known, letting your authority show, and you're showing that you know stuff. So when you when people see that, they're going to want to follow you, want to know more about you, and they're going to be on the lookout for when you're posting. So I mentioned about the designated help hashtag. The one, How you use that is you go into the group discussion where you can search, and you just search for hashtag help or help. And whatever posts come up, questions, comments, whatever, whatever come up, I want you to answer them with your best knowledge and experience possible. I do not, do not, do not want you to say, hey, go to my website and see something. Because most of the time in, in groups, especially if they're larger groups, like, you know, over a thousand people or even the 200, you know, people, 200 count people are saying, you know, don't be trying to lead people out of this group. Don't be, you know, doing that link bait stuff where you're trying to get them to your website from this group. You know, they worked hard to create this group. So you have to be respectful of that. And you're not trying to steal their people. You want them to come along with you willingly and happily. Okay. So how you do that, you search for uh, help. And once they put something in there, um, sorry, you search for help and you answer their question. And you can have a dialogue with the person they're probably going to answer you back and say, oh, thanks for this, or they may ask you more questions. And instead of putting a long dissertation in there, you can say, um, especially if you need to put your website in there, they're, they're like, oh, drop your website here or something. You can say, hey, I'm going to PM you with my website or my contact information list chat. Do not PM them before 
you answer their question and before you let them know. Because remember, we're all about helping. We're not about just going there and poaching members or getting people off other people's lists. We are utilizing the the audience that that these people have cultivated and created, but we're doing it in a respectful way, okay? So let me go over those four things that you're going to do for the next 20 days. I want you to set your calendar and start doing it today, not too late. You can do it in the afternoon today, in the morning tomorrow. Um, Leave a helpful tip and find the five groups. Leave a helpful tip. Comment on another person's post. Ask a question, answer a question. There's four things you need to do over the next 20 days. I promise you, you will see results. And in addition, once a day, go in there and put help in the uh, search thing. And all the questions that come up, answer them. They'll People will start to notice you. They'll start to know you. And most of the time, when you say, I'm going to PM you and leave you some information so we can talk more later, they're like, okay, that's fine. But you can't just go up to someone and have answer the questions. Oh, I'm going to PM you. No, that's really rude. So do not do that, okay? <laughs> now, this is just one of the strategies, strategies that I have in my book that 10, um, in my book, on Market to Business, 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs Like Yourself to stop struggling, to stand out, and to start profiting. So this was in the um, treasure hunting and groups chapter. But I guess what? I have nine other chapters that I talk about how you can get clients. I talk about writing a book. I talk extensively about how to use social media, how to find your audience on social media, how to connect with them, what kind of posts they're looking for, how to how to see what the posts are. You saw a sample of what I'm talking about here, but I go much, much, much more in depth. I also talk about how you can use cause marketing, which is your for-profit or even nonprofit business, hooking up with a nonprofit to affect change and how you can kind of ride that all the way to the top because you're associated with a good cause. People are going to want to know more about you learn more about you, start to know, like, and trust thing, and start to buy from you, maybe even hire you, depending on what your business is. So like I said, there are 10 strategies all together, and all 10 strategies, I have used them over the last 25 years that I've been in business to help me stay in business and keep going. So I want to help you with that, because you don't have to use all, 20, all 10 of them. You don't even have to use if you pick one, between one and three, that's probably good. That's probably enough to blow your brain anyway. So I, w- I definitely want to make sure that you are doing this strategically and you're using using your wits and you're not burning yourself out because all 10 strategies can be a lot. And I did not use all 10 strategies at once. Actually, it took me years to come up with each one of the ones that I use. And these are only the 10 that I put in it. These are the top 10 that get me the most results, the most clients, make the most money. So I want you to follow them. And guess what I have for you? On May the 31st at 7 p.m., I am inviting you to join me for a two-hour live strategy session where I go over the 10 strategies with you in a group. I'm only letting 15 people into the group, and I'm reserving the first five spots for members of this group. I, have, I haven't I have even put it out to anybody yet, and you guys are the first to know about it, so I want you to sign up for this. You can go to csicorporation.com forward slash strategize and see what's involved. Basically, it's going to be a two- a two-hour session on Zoom. All of us are going to be together. You'll be able to ask me whatever you want, and we're going to have some great, I'm going to have some great information for you that's going to come straight from the book. You can ask questions. We can do a deep dive into whichever chapters you want. I'm going to send you out information so that we can prep for it because it's going to be in about two weeks or so. So we got time to prep you for this. And you'll also get an autographed copy of the book. And I want to let you know that I am changing the cover on the book. So it's going to be re-released and you'll get an autographed copy of that one with the brand new cover on it. Because in preparation for my five-day author promo at the end of June, my 30-day virtual book tour and my 10-city tour, my 10-city unmarketing tour, which is Unmarket Your Business All the Way to the Bank that kicked off in August, I'm redoing the cover. 
So uh, let me tell you how I came up with this whole thing. I was sleeping. I woke up at like two, three o'clock in the morning, which I talk about in the book, the 2 a.m. problem. And God laid it on my heart. Hey, you need to get this out to people. You need to help people because everybody who joined this group wants help with marketing. They joined the group for that specific reason. And just about everyone that I've read the comments from your when you join said, I need help with marketing. I have this business or that business, but I need help with marketing. And of course, this is unmarked your business. So I'm going to give you some tips and strategies and these trainings every Friday that are actually going to help you to market your business successfully. So you don't have to be pulling your hair out at 2 a.m. in the morning. You can wake up with some good things like, how can I, how can I be of service more? How can I help my people more? And that's kind of what God laid on my heart. He said, you know, you need to do this right now. So I put everything together this this morning and it's not all the way 100%, you know, together. I mean, everything's set up. I know what I'm going to do, but this strategized session is only $47. It's going to be two hours. There's going to be just 15 people in a group and I'm going to lay it all out. I mean, in-depth questions about the marketing strategies and tips and information that I've used, and we're going to break it all down. And I'm even going to release some new stuff that's not even in the book. Are you doing uh, messenger bots? Do you know about mini chat? Well, we're going to talk about that and how you can use Facebook advertising with messenger and mini chat to actually connect with your audience on the Facebook platform, connect where they already are. And I know you've seen all that stuff, the messenger bots and people, hey, Carol, how you doing in messenger, but do you know how to use it? So we're going to talk about that too, because that's a major thing that's going on right now. I'm using it for several of my clients. They're getting great results and I want you to get results too. And I'm actually starting to do it for myself. So, you know, I got to eat from my own pot. <laughs> And I want you there and I want you to experience this also. And I tell you, no one else is giving you this type of exclusivity. No one else is giving you this information because you know how I am. I, I share pretty freely and authentically and I let you know what's going on. So I want you to be in the know about what's happening out there and how you can market your business without pulling your hair out and waking up at 2 a.m. in the morning and say, what am I going to do? We're going to talk about whatever it is you want to talk about, you know, regarding the book, which chapter is most important. So I will have for all of those who sign up, like I said, it's only $47 on May 31st at from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's going to be a live Zoom where we're going to actually be able to talk back and forth, share information. I know a lot of you want to use social media but don't know what to do or don't know how to and get started with it. We're going to talk about that. Maybe you want to write a book and you're scared to death to get started. We're going to talk about that. Maybe you've never heard about cause marketing or you don't even know what to do in Facebook groups. Now, you can't say that you don't know what to do in Facebook groups because I just laid it all out for you. But I know there's some specific questions you probably have. So whatever you want to talk about, we're going to be talking about it. I will have an agenda for you. So you won't, we won't just be willy nilly going all over the place. We're all going to have some hot seat laser coaching. Uh, and you'll be able to get your questions answered and you'll and I'll be freely there for to talk to you and to guide you and to help you. Because, like I said, all these strategies I'm using and that book, I got it to the Amazon number one international bestselling status status. So if you want to talk about that, we can talk about that, too. So I want you to go now to CSICorporation.com forward slash strategize. Sign up. It's only $47, but you get two hours of great content and who knows what else. And plus, you're going to get an autographed copy of the new book with the brand new cover on it. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Like I said, God laid this on my heart today and I am sharing this so I can be of better service to you in this group, in my business, so I can help your business and help you market your business successfully. So until then, We'll see you a little bit later. I am signing off. Bye.